How's it going everybody? Caster Troy here with another Rust video for electronics. And here I have a special one for you today. Um, this is my current active base that I'm playing in, in the Rusty Solo Dual server. I'm not going to show you exactly where it is or show you too much because I don't want you to come and take all my shit. But I will show you what I got going on here. This is my electrical command center. As you can see, you might recognize some of the systems I have here. This is my advanced battery dual backup with time generators here and a couple other things. But uh, I kind of just wanted to show you uh, a full system instead of just parts and how you can kind of set one up yourself and you can make your own command center with different circuits um, that you want to make. So first off, I'm just going to start with power. Um, I did find these two test generators, and these are by far the best. If you can find these, by all means have at it. These are constant 100 power at all times, and you can hide them in your base. They make no noise. They're great. Uh, I absolutely love these. These are by far the best. Uh, what I have here is two running into a root combiner and then running into another one. And this one is my backup generators. So if I need more power, I could fire these up and I got more power. And if I run, if uh, something were to happen to these, which they shouldn't, but if they did, um, these batteries are here to back up my system as long uh, as well as these. So I have uh, ample amount of power and plenty of time for my base to remain electrically set up. So my systems and my traps and everything work. So moving on from there, um, I just want to show you, this is my current power output after my backup system. Uh, so 128. And then I have it running over here. And this is what I call my uh, command center power bus. This is all my systems broken down, showing me how much power I have and showing me um, every system I have. And I can turn them on and off at will. Uh, you definitely want to do this in case, uh, you know, you have to fix something in your base or whatnot. And this kind of shows you, uh, yeah, it just kind of gives you some control over your electronical circuits. You always want to be able to turn uh, things on and off. But it's very simple. It's just an electrical branch run to a switch, and you just set the power to uh, however much you need of that circuit. And you just watch it. Like this is lights. Um, my current light output all I need is 26 to power all the lights in my base so I just have it set to that and that's the minimum uh, and then the rest goes through so I have a hundred coming through here uh, for the rest of my systems uh, you definitely want these counters passing through too so you can keep track of your electrical draw for your circuits and then uh, I just have it going from there to another electrical branch running down to another switch and these are my two traps. Um, I'm not going to show you them because I don't want to give it away in my base. But uh, what they are is they're turrets. And they're powered by a heartbeat sensor that when if you go in a room, it's going to open a door. It's going to alarm my system here. And it's going to have that turret activate and start shooting you if you come in. And there are two different systems. And they protect my base. And they're not drawing too much power. I think only 20 each. Um, so yeah, there's two of those. And then over here, my final system, I will be adding more, but this is where I'm at right now. i got to get some more power. But uh, this is a full wireless security system. Uh, my very first electronics tutorial I made, uh, that's exactly what this is here. Just a full system with an array all the way around my perimeter. So if someone sits by my walls, um, I'm going to know about it. And this thing is going to tell me. I can have a pager in my hand letting me know if I'm out and about getting stuff that someone's around my base. And it's also going to tell me in real time how many times this has gone off. So uh, even if I log off and this alarm system's going off and they don't do anything, I'm still going to know when I come back on if this has a increased at all because it'll count up every time a heartbeat sensor on my perimeter goes off so that's that whole system and then currently I have a remaining six power which is not enough for the next thing I want to do 
which is going to be a couple more traps, I think. But yeah, that is uh, that is a command center for my electronics. Um, definitely very handy to keep everything in one spot. So if you need to change something or if you want to turn something on and off or you want to check your alarms or how many times things have gone off, it's all in one accessible spot. I also keep my uh, components in here so I know where they're at and it keeps things nice and tidy and in order. Uh, and yeah, that's it. Uh, if you have any other questions or if you have any uh other electronical things that you do in Rust that are similar to this. Uh, I would love to see what you guys do in your base with your electronics. So feel free to post down below, comment. Uh, if you like videos like this, uh, keep an eye out. There will be plenty more tutorials to come. And leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.